With three decades of experience of printing and embroidery, Acorn Printing have a client base including many household names and have even supplied t-shirts for the President of the United States. As the official team wear supply for Bosra, you can order from our current range at tshirtuk.com. Good morning, welcome back to Bosra Race Roundup. We're here for the 2016 Bosra MSA Skip Barber Championship. This week it's round six and it is a week of first. This week we're at Charlotte Motor Speedway for the Oval Course. Speaking of first, it's in Thorne's first poll this week and it's also Motorsport Auction's first poll as well. Van Delden's having a better week in second for Bowden Solutions, followed by Barry Bird in third for Tech Speed Racing. Neil Bamba, he's been very consistent this year. He's in fourth for Seagate Nolgy. Ricky Green and Jan Malesba next for Bowden Solutions, followed by Underhill and Jackson and Frey Compritton and Bentley Boys Racing. In 9th, it's Alan McCain followed by Ryan Walker and Phil Gregory in 11th. Usual top man Antonides is down in 12th followed by David Rowland and Tony Bird. Chris Portrell's in 15th followed by his teammate Russell Barnes in 16th. Second half of qualifying, it's David Waldock in 17th with Matt Talea and Martin Brandon next. Ben Hackerson in 20th followed by Darren Ford and Scott Malcolm. Ian Robson's in 23rd. So Brand, well, he didn't really put an effort into qualifying as did Martin Gwenicke in 25th. We'll see soon enough if qualifying has an impact on this race. It's bound to be action packed, so let's get on board with our pole man in Thorn and have a lap here around Charlotte. If you're looking to upgrade your racing experience, then head over to Bowdoin Solutions. They offer the first and only bolt-on load cell brake mod for Thrustmaster pedals, and the TXG27 adapter allows you to use your Logitech pedals with a Thrustmaster wheel. See the link below for more information. Ian Thorne's lap time, a 39.866, is probably going to be the quickest ever qualifying session we see with Bosra. Here we are then, the start of his lap, this was lap number 14 in the qualifying session, and Ian just staying on the back of this pack just in front of him, including Acorn Printing and Bowdoin Solutions just ahead. So through turn number one now, we're going through turn number two as well, and onto the back straight. Now's the time to really tuck him behind and use the drag as much as possible. He managed to time this absolutely perfectly, he left himself enough room so once he started building up the speed he wouldn't interfere with anyone in front of him. And we're through turn number three now and into turn number four and back onto the main straight. The pit entrance on your left hand side, that may catch a few people out today with speeding in the pits. So right on the back of the pack now, about to come across the line, there is an accident in that pack. And then caught on the next lap, lap number 15. The Synology DS216 Play is a 2 bay NAS featuring 4K video transcoding and powerful processing capabilities. Complement yours with Seagate NAS hard drives for the perfect high capacity storage solution. See the video description for more details. For the first time ever we have a rolling start behind the safety car around an oval so it's Ian Thorne on pole for motorsport auctions, the safety car pulls in and everybody gets away and across the line for the first time now to start the race and you'll see the timing screen come up with all the drivers then listed so so far it is thrown from Van Delden from Bird Bamber sat in fourth full course cautions are enabled so if there is an accident everyone will be bunched back up hopefully we won't see too many of them this week as we go through the first few corners everyone will be looking to settle down and get into a line for the tow Bend solutions with all four cars within the top eight first accident this week involved Chris Butter and Simon Jackson. Chris tried to go around the outside but Simon squeezing him into the wall. Chris then comes back across track and collects Tony Bird as well for tech speed racing. Both cars needing repairs early on. This was Tony's view of that incident. You see Chris on the right hand side going up and into the wall now and veering back across track. Unfortunate for Tony to be collected up in that. Thankfully it is only lap number two so plenty of time to make up places in this race. A fantastic view on lap number two. This is the lead of the race, Ian Thorne from Simon Underhill and Barry Bird in third. Van Delden's in fourth. You can see the Bone Solutions teammates helping each other out with the draft there. Same with Acorn Printing with Simon out front. It'd be great to see Bone Solutions use this train to try and get one of their drivers out front and pull away using the draft as well. Surely Acorn Printing and Motorsport Auctions will be right on their heels. Watching our pole man Ian Thorne from Motorsport Auctions, Jan Malesov and Ryan Walker just the right hand side of him, Simon Underhill just ahead. Ian then tries to make a move between the two Acorn printing cars and gets caught up with Ryan Walker. They would then collect half the field behind them and that would mean the first safety car of the race. The view back from the safety car as the pack bunches back up. It is Simon Underhill in the lead from Neil Bamba and Ricky Green in third for Bowden Solutions. This is on lap number four, about to come on to lap number five completed. The lights on the safety car go out indicating when we cross the line next time the race will restart. The safety car now about to pull back in. It'll be up to Simon Underhill to get this race underway again. So Simon puts his foot to the floor. Bamba and Green anticipate that and stay with him. So Bamba is demoted into third. Ricky Green pulls straight in behind Simon to get the toe off the line. Into the first corner now. So Bamba is in third. Simon Jackson just behind, followed by Van Delden and his teammate McCain in sixth. 
We move on to lap number nine, focusing on Ryan Walker for Acorn Printing, who's having a fight with Bowden Solutions. Keep an eye on him and Neil Bamba, though. There's very slight contact between them. Ryan then flips the car, going into one of the turns, coming back across track and ended up on the grass. Lucky to not take anyone out at turn number one. This was Anthony Eady's view of the Ryan Walker crash. Martin Brandon just on the right-hand side, so Ryan into the wall. Martin Brandon narrowly missing Ryan there. Anthony Eady's taking advantage and moving up a place as well. The next driver to have an incident was Ricky Green, he's just ahead of Martin Gwenicke, puts his car into the wall. Martin with good reactions to avoid him, so Ricky Green goes tumbling down the order, car number 9. You'll see this from a different angle on board with Ricky's car, and as you'll see he just mistimes this slightly, try to go around the outside of somebody, puts his front right wheel into the wall, car spinning all over the place and another safety car deployed. Drivers back under caution then, it was Underhill from Jackson, McCain your top three, we're focusing on Alan McCain. Two race leaders, Underhill and Jackson, would then pull into the pits, they decided to take on fuel and get it in while the safety car was out, so that would mean that McCain takes the lead of the race, Chris Buttrell's up in second with Ian Robson jumping into the pits from fifth, and as you can see the order changing once again. To the restart on lap 22, this is the view from Alan McCain looking back at Chris Buttrell there on the left hand side, Darren Ford in third with Martin Gwenicke from Motorsport Auctions in fourth, McCain dictating the pace this time, getting it through into turn number one, his foot down with Chris right on his heels. Current championship leaders Sobrand and Antonides are currently sat in 11th and 12th respectively, they'll be wanting to get back up the top so they can continue their fight for the championship. Still on lap number 23, this is Simon Underhill, he had taken his pit stop as had Simon Jackson and rejoined the race, currently sat in ninth, just overtaking Van Delden and now all over the back of Robson's care for Bentley Boys Racing, so Simon comes back down to take the inside line through here, Antonides is just behind, just ahead is Matt Talia for Seagate and Snorgy, Simon tries to cut between both of them, then he hits Ian Robson and takes out Matt Talia and puts his own car into the wall, it comes back across track and more cars collected, that was Ryan Walker going straight over the top of him, his acorn printing teammate, yet another safety car with only one lap restarted during the race. Here is Ryan Walker's view of that, you can see Simon coming back across track, nowhere for Ryan to go, yet another accident for Ryan, and off to the track and into the pit lane. Race restarting once again on lap number 28, this is the view from Chris Buttrell, Alan McCain just ahead, Martin Gwenicke is up into third, so two of the Max Sport Auctions cars within the top three, that's great to see, Neil Bamba sat in fourth, followed by Robson and Sobrands made his way up to sixth, the safety car pulls in, Chris and McCain go for it, Chris then misjudges his gear timing, tries to tuck in behind Alan to keep up with him, but that change of gear to the detriment, allowed his teammate to come past, so Martin Gwenicke is up into second place now, Ian Robson coming through on the left hand side as well, Chris tries to stay with him and tucks back in behind in fourth. As the race restarts we've only got 12 cars on the lead lap with Baird the first of the drivers a lap down, it's followed by Barnes and Waldock with Matt Talia in 16th. We are around three quarters of the way through the race now then, so the drivers will now be looking to get into position and going for the race win. On to lap number 33, this is Tony Bird in 14th place, some cars unlap themselves, Ben Hackerson then tried to move to go around the outside and went straight into the back of Tony's car, not quite sure what Ben was thinking there, he is a lap down, so Tony off track, that would mean one thing, yes another safety car. After another restart, Simon Underhill was back up into first, up six places, Ian Robson in second, followed by Simon Jackson in third, so Acorn printing from Bentley Boys Racing from Bentley Boys Racing, so Brand had made his way back up into fourth place, we're now on lap number 39, so not very long to go at all before the end of the race, who would take the win, well it would take one final twist. On to lap number 40, Simon Jackson there just coming into the leader race, Simon Underhill pushed down into second, Martin Gwenicke going between the Bentley Boys Racing and Acorn Printing cars, there's then contact between Simon Jackson and Underhill, that would put Simon Underhill into Martin Gwenicke, both cars into the wall, Simon spinning and then tagging somebody else as well, so Simon out the lead of the race, here we see another angle of that, so Jackson moves up into first, very tight squeeze there between the 11 car and the 44 car, Martin Gwenicke then just on the back wheel of Simon Underhill, with race distance in terms of time already completed it would be a dash to the line, no more safety care, Simon Jackson going for the win, Chris Buttrell right on the back of him, Simon Jackson crosses the line to take the win, Chris Buttrell's .072 seconds behind. A great result for Anton Aides as well, finishing in third with Sobran down in tenth.
Motorsport auctions are the global marketplace to buy and sell used race and rally cars, parts, transporters and associated equipment. With competitive pricing on all types of membership, list your items now at motorsportauctions.com. Our first trip to an oval then, proving very different indeed. Simon Jackson taking the win from Chris Bushell and Anton Ades in third. Neil Bamber finishes fourth ahead of Darren Ford. And look at that, the top five separated by under a second. Ian Robson's in sixth, Phil Gregory seventh, followed by McCain and Gawenicki. So Brand finished tenth for Team Quatwork, ten seconds behind. That's notable for the top of the driver's standings. Simon Underhill's in eleventh after that last lap crash. Russell Barnes is in twelfth, David Wardock thirteenth, followed by Brandon and Toyo with Van Delden in sixteenth. David Rowland crossed the line in 17th ahead of Barry Bird and Ricky Green with Ian Thorne in 20th. Ben Hackerson, a disappointing race for him ahead of Tony Bird and Ryan Walker with Jan Malesova in 24th and Scott Malcolm 34 laps down in 25th. For the driver's standings, Anton Ades increases his lead to 18 points with Neil Bamba in 3rd, 19 points behind the leader. Simon Jackson moves up a massive 7 places this week into 4th with Phil Gregory 5th. Simon Underhill's in 6th ahead of David Waldock and Van Delden drop 3 places. Darren Ford's up 4th with Ben Hackerson dropping 5 into 10th. Talaya sits 11th ahead of the Motorsport Auctions pairing of Chris Butchell and Martin Gwenicke. Then it's the Bird Brothers for Tech Speed Rating and 16th Alan McCain. We're hoping Piercy will be back soon. He's down in 17th, head of Ian Robson and Russell Bounds. Ricky Green sits 20th, with Jan Malesver in Thorn next. Scott Malcolm in 23rd, head of Andrew Whitehead. Brian Larson, we've not seen him since Donington Park. He's head of Martin Brandon and David Rowland. Jonathan Barris for 28th, and it's Lennell and Walker, with Sean Birdside and Marion Bradshaw in 32nd. In the team standings, XL Designs continue to dominate with Seagate Synology 22 points behind, Team Clockwork in third, 61 points behind the leader. Bentley Boys Racing move up three places into fourth, head of Motorsport Auctions. Bone Solutions drop to sixth, two places down. Tech Speed Racing drop one to seventh, and Acorn Printing remain in eighth. That is all from Shower Oval. We've hoped you've enjoyed our first trip to an oval circuit. Uh, if it is something you like, then give us a thumbs up or leave us a comment below the video. That is it from us this week. Next week, we're off to Brands Hatch Indie Circuit for round seven of the championship. We'll hope you join us for that. Thank you ever so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.